hi everybody welcome back to my channel today you guys know what it is off the title of this video it's gonna be my july favorites so okay this is like the fourth time i tried to record this video every time i sit down to do it either there's a lot of noise outside or you know my house is bustling there's people around and everything and also let me apologize for the lighting that is happening in my house today. Maybe if I just move this, but you know what? For some reason in San Diego today, it is just a gloomy, horrible day and it's just messing up my filming because clearly I don't have any lights, but I'm hoping you guys will be able to see me today. So I don't have a lot of products to talk about this month because if you're here from my get ready with me video, then you already know that I don't switch my products out very often. But when I do find a good product worth mentioning, I will show you guys and I have a few that I want you guys to check out with me today. So the first thing that I want to talk about with you guys today has to do with beauty products. So if you are here from my get ready with me video then you already know which one of the lipsticks I'm going to talk about first and it is this one. If you watched that video, no it wasn't that video, I think it was the one before that where I did a review on this lipstick. I have to say that my review has not changed whatsoever. I think that this lipstick is just fantastically awesome. It's the Superstay 24 Color Micro Flex Technology Anti-Transfer Lipstick by Maybelline. I was skeptical about this, but it was actually my mom who turned me on to it not too long ago. And as you guys can see, it's a lipstick like this. It's got the Super Stay 24 color. This one is in the color 035 Red is the name of this color. And what it is is on one side you have the lipstick itself and then on the other side you have a lip balm. And this lip balm is what's supposed to keep your color from transferring onto dishes or transferring onto your man. And let me tell you, they ain't playing about that, okay? This was a swatch that I had made in another video. Um, like I said, I had filmed this one maybe five or six times, but I've also showered since then. I've also washed my hands many a time since then. And this is the remnants right here. It's like you practically need a sandblaster to get this off of your lips, which is fine by me and fine by anybody else who thinks that they need something that's gonna stay on all day without needing to touch it up or anything like that. And I'm going to swatch it again. It just seems like such a, look at that, it's a beautiful red color and I love it. I'm not going to put this lip balm right here on my hand again because quite frankly I want to get it off. So it's just a little balm like so and what you're supposed to do is you wait two minutes after you put this color on your lips and you go over top of it with this lip balm and let me tell you, girl. It stays on like nothing else I've ever dealt with before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and get a few more colors of this one because if you're like me, you like to drink a lot of water or maybe you drink a lot in general. You know, maybe you kiss other people a lot like I tend to do. And this is definitely something that I need. I have learned that it seems like the only thing that does get it off is, whoo, the only thing that does get it off is, um, baby oil and you kind of have to use a lot of it to get it off I'm not complaining I highly recommend it especially if you need something with long wearing power this one will do it for you so moving right along to the next product I want to talk about I have really been on lipsticks this month as you guys have seen in the videos I have put up and as you will see further today this one right here people oh my gosh you guys know that I love vampy makeup I love really dark just purplish, dark black, dark blue, dark anything. And when I saw this at the Walmart with my mom the other day, I absolutely could not pass it up. This one is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid, and it is in the color Possessed Plum, and it dries so matte. And I think that's one of the things that I like most about it. I can't even get a good swatch for you guys. It's so, it looks like that right there. Isn't that gorgeous. I think that it is a perfect color for fall. It's the perfect plum for me. If you're not into dark lipsticks, this one may not be for you, but it is definitely one of my favorites. I, I, I can't. I can't. I'm so glad that I found this and it comes in at least 20 different colors. So you don't have to get the dark ones, clearly. They do come in nudes and they do come in like vibrant colors, pinks, um, lighter purples, browns, reds even, and you can get these. Um, this one is a matte liquid, 
so as we can see a few minutes later it is starting to dry really really matte it's starting to do what it do best and i really love that you guys know i'm into matte lipstick so that one was it's perfect for me so this is the color possessed plum it is the maybelline vivid matte liquid and you know what the the title's right there but you have to look really hard to see it I like it. I highly recommend it, especially since we have the upcoming fall season. Get you some like that. Oh, girl, they have a black one that I'm going to go get. I have never worn black lipstick before, but I'm all, I'm, I'm here for every bit of that. So this one and a black one, I'm going out to get some today. And hopefully I can come up with some makeup looks, especially for around Halloween and stuff. Mm. Mm. As I was saying, I'm going to try to do maybe some Halloween looks or something with this one and the black one that I'm going to go get today, but we will see and I definitely will give you all my opinion on that one when I get it. So the next product is not a beauty product per se, but it definitely helps people who are like me and who have issues sleeping at night. I don't know about you guys, but I have really dark circles under my eyes, um, particularly on nights when I can't sleep or on nights where I haven't had any sleep at all. and. I have a proactive subscription and in that subscription came this. This is the proactive eye brightening serum. This is a brand new one and in my other video that I filmed prior to this one. This is brand new and I peeled off the wrapper before in the other video but what it is is it's just a really light eye brightening serum and it has a little nozzle like this on it and you take roughly about that much right there and you put it under your eyes I use it both times I use it at night when I take off my makeup and I use it in the morning before I start filming I especially use it before I start filming because there are just some days where my under eye circles are just they're horrible so I do recommend this one it's uh, a rich serum featuring antioxidants peptides and a unique moisturizing complex designed to help nourish and protect the delicate skin around the eyes Vitamin C and licorice extract helps dark circles appear brighter for a more rested youthful look. Now, I will say that you are not going to see immediate results with this product. It does take about a week before you can start to see your um, under eyes brightening up at all. But a week is worth it because once you see the dramatic changes, you know what? I actually might do a review on this product for you guys so it'll be honest and I've been using it for the past three weeks so I do have pictures of when I started using it and I do have pictures of me now without the makeup on so you guys would be able to see it thumbs up this video if you want to see more about this product but I do like it it's helping a lot it's not harsh it doesn't sting it's really soothing really cooling and it's by far one of the best eye brightening serums that I have found I'm not sure how much it actually is mine came in a a pack it was a, it was free with my subscription so if you want to I will list the proactive website down below so you guys can check it out if you want the next thing oh I am so excited about these guys and I know that they're not new I know that they've been on the market for a while but they're new to me and I am so excited these real techniques beauty blenders oh my god my mom and I as I said earlier went shopping last week because I had told her that I was in the market for a new beauty blender you guys know that the one that I had was just beat up. It was terrible. It just, it was falling apart pretty much. So she uses these sponges and I'll show you guys the clean one. Mine is unbelievably dirty because clearly I've used it the past couple days, but this one is wet and this one is dry and you can see how much bigger it gets um, between wet and dry. And what really got me about this product was how soft it is you know how sometimes beauty blenders end up being really coarse or you know they're just they just don't feel quite right they're not soft and you know pleasing to the skin these definitely are I love this sponge and it comes with two of them in there if you have not used these these are three-in-one multifunctional sponges that leave you with a complexion that's smooth enhanced and gorgeous use damp for a dewy glow or dry for full coverage I have never used it dry because I don't like to use a beauty blender dry. To me, something's not right about that. It's got to have a little bit of moisture in it, but I will try it one day, honestly. And it is really good for 
yeah, we're getting rid of my oiliness that I have going on right now. But anyway, it's good for blending your foundation. It's especially good for under eye concealer application. And the corner, the tip, makes it so easy to get into this corner area, around the nose, and the flat part, which I have not used yet, clearly, is supposed to be for the face and for blending and all of that. But I really like these, especially because they're latex free. I cannot use anything with latex in it, and these were a winner for me. But yeah, I definitely recommend these Real Techniques Beauty Blenders, and that's why they're in my favorites for this month. The final thing I want to talk about has to do with hygiene. And I know that in the summertime, most of us sweat. A lot of us are really active. Parts of our body sweat. I'm no exception. So I went ahead and bought this Dr. Scholl's Odor X powder. So this powder is, I guess it's supposed to be for your feet, which mine do sweat from time to time. But this one I spray all over. I spray under the girls. I spray it on my back all over the place because I do not like as you guys know already I do not like to smell like flowers and I cannot stand it honestly when girls walk around with so much body spray on that they smell like French whores does that bother anybody else okay maybe it's just me but I don't like that and I especially don't like when women put on all this body splash and they still stink like their body just smells outrageously horrible so now you smell like shitress pretty much and that's not cute so what I do is I put this on. It doesn't really have a scent to it so much. It's more of a fresh scent, but I put it on right after I get out of the shower. I apply it everywhere. It's just a body spray of powder. Wet Max technology, all day odor protection guaranteed, destroys odor instantly and absorbs sweat. I think, and you know what, I'm just going to say it because I can and it's how I feel. I think that a lot of women do not realize that when you put on all that I think what a lot of women do not realize is when you put on all of that fragrant Victoria's Secret stuff, it's not absorbing the odor. It's covering up the odor. And sometimes it's not even really good at that. So I don't want to take the risk. I do not like to stink. I don't care what it is. And especially since body sprays are not deodorant. Ladies, stop it. Stop walking around smelling bad because you want to put on extra body spray and extra everything and the foundation you stinks stop so anyway now that that rant is out of the way I don't know I just like to smell fresh and I like to smell clean I don't want to smell like flowers I don't want to smell like Victoria's Secret Angel no I want to smell like Keisha and this helps me do that I do not have to worry about smelling bad because this definitely destroys odor I would not use this in the area because I think it would be a little irritating but definitely I have used it in with wearing sandals I'll spray my feet and it doesn't make the sandals slippery my feet stay dry it's a, it's really good stuff and it's long lasting um, yeah it's supposed to be on dry feet between toes but I use it all over because if my feet sweat everything else sweats so Dr. Scholl's Odor X is what I have been loving for this month alright you guys so that's gonna wrap up this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it I really hope that you will go out and try to purchase some of these products I honestly love discovering new products I love telling you guys about new stuff that I find and I, I still cannot stop ranting about this and I don't even know if it's new but I don't care because it's new to me and I like it if you're not already and you'd like to be go ahead and hit that subscribe button become a member of my YouTube family I would love to have you here Hey. And if you are not already following me on social media, I will link them down below as well. I'm on there a lot more than I'm on YouTube. So if you want to keep up with the latest, greatest thing that I am on right now, the best way to follow me is on social media. That's where it's at. <laughs> I hope you guys have an awesome week ahead and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.